Baby Names Live, another live episode with me, Jennifer Moss. And me, Mallory Moss. We are the founders of babynames.com. And we're sisters, too. Don't tell anybody. Please. Try to keep that very on the down low. <laughs> <laughs> so the episode that dropped yesterday of our podcast was all about video game naming and role-playing games. We had two very special guests. If you haven't watched it yet, go back and take a listen. Lee Perry was a former lead designer of Epic Games, and he was instrumental in the Final Fantasy and the Fortnite series. Um, he's a cool dude and talked about video game naming. And then we talked with the dungeon master extraordinaire, Matthew Mercer of the hit series, Critical Role, which is a Dungeons and Dragons game that he plays with friends online. And um, it's super huge. And we had re two really good conversations about names and naming. I think um, naming video game characters is a lot like naming fictional characters. They are, it's a, it's a story, it's storytelling. So uh, we talked about that, but Matt, in particular, who does it live, has to do it on the cuff. And he has to do it. He's creating a story in real time. So he has to be on the ball and have those names ready. And he's admitted to using babynames.com. So that's very cool. <laughs> Yay. So, Mal, we talked a little bit about role-playing games and the games that you've played. Um, what are your favorite names from video games? Well, I am a Nintendo girl, huh? so the games that I have always owned, the systems I have always owned was, you know, Nintendo, N64, Super Nintendo, um, and so on, games, Wii, though. right, but they all had the same number one character, and that was Mario. Mario! So the so the, exactly. So the top two names, the top two male names, of course, from the Mario games are Mario, Mario, yeah. and do you know the other one? Luigi. Wow, Sorry. Jennifer. Yeah. I am I can, so impressed. I can use the Google. <laughs> you can use the Google? Yeah. Good. I am glad. But do you think that parents can choose those names for babies now? Or do you think they're too identified still with characters? That's a really good question. You know, it's interesting because you look at the two names, Mario and Luigi. And Mario, which is far more common. Yeah, at least in the United States than Luigi is um, because it's more common. I think you can use that even though it's the better known Nintendo name. I think but so, Luigi too. is almost always associated with Nintendo. Really? So, you know, and you know that Italian names are becoming huge here in the U.S. Right. I think Luigi is a great name. I had I a dog named great. Luigi. <laughs> And um, I just wrote down a name that I saw in credits, Cario with a K, and that reminded me of Mario Kart. <laughs> and I was like, that's interesting. I wonder where that came from. What is it? Cario with a K. It's a name? Yeah, it was somebody's oh. name. Mm, I've so never heard know, of that. They were big fans of Mario Kart and just smushed the words together. <laughs> <laughs> no. I saw the name Cario, but it meant something. It was like a food product. I'm trying to remember. Oh, interesting. I'll have to look oh. it up. Another uh, Italian name from a video game is Ezio. Ezio Auditori da Firenze. And that's apparently from Assassin's Creed. Oh, so Ezio popular. Enzo. Enzo is a big brother name. Enzo is playing big brother and is still on the show this season and all stars. Um, I always I really liked like Enzo. 
Yeah. And the great um, thing about Latin names is um, they're pronounced the way they're spelled, pretty much. Like, yes. There's very hardcore pronunciation rules. So, Azio is probably how you pronounce E Z I O, and Enzo is always Enzo, you know. So, you don't have that Welsh issue. Not the Welsh <laughs> issue. I love Welsh <laughs> names. But Americans don't know how to pronounce them. And that's what's funny my is point. we talk about this because in video games, there's a lot, especially in the fantasy genre, you know, they do use a lot of Welsh elements to sound very fantastical and uh, and fairy-like because it goes back to like Welsh lore. Um, but then, you know, Americans are like, eh. <laughs> deal with that. Here's another big brother name, actually, mm -hmm. that we haven't really talked about. Yeah. And that's also a big Nintendo name. And that is Kirby. Oh, as in Will, Dr. As Will? As in Dr. Will Kirby, yes. And in Kirby English is Kirby? an adorable pink little guy. Oh, uh, okay. I think I've seen him. Yeah. So he's a pink little ghosty he's blob. A pink little... <laughs> ghosty. He's a pink little ghosty black guy. I have a I have a Love. friend named Kirby. It's K E R B Y. Um, this is he's K I. Artist. Yeah. Okay. And um, I was actually going to name my cat Kirby, but I didn't want Kirby to think I named my cat after him, even though he's nice. Yeah, cat. that would be a little but, weird. You know, that's a little awkward when you know who you're coming in and name. out. It's a little awkward when you know somebody with a name, like a coworker or something, and you want to use that name, but then you're like, Oh, I'm I'm worried that they'll think I named it after them, and that's just a little weird. And <laughs> I don't know. Seems a little obsessive. Yeah, yeah. Um, another Fox. cool name from Final Fantasy. Hold on, is we'll we'll, we'll switch off. Uh, Cloud Strife. I like Cloud as a name. Cloud sure. is pretty. Yeah, Cloud, see? but except for now, I think it's too associated with the cloud. That's my problem. What is the cloud. The oh, cloud. Like the cloud. Oh, I see. In in technical terms, in right. internet. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. All right, your turn. Fox, like Star Fox. We don't talk much about Fox, and there's Fox Mulder, of course. Yeah. I like the name Fox. Um, there's Zelda, of course, from the Legend of Zelda, and she was also um, the wife of Arthur. Fitzgerald, right? F. Yes. Scott Fitzgerald. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Zelda. And um, what about Pikachu? No. <laughs> no. I mean, that's a cute pet name. If there's a Peekaboo, why can't there be a Pikachu? Because it's a copyrighted character and Peekaboo isn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Peekaboo is just a children's game. And I, I probably would not recommend you name your child Peekaboo anyway, even though <laughs> Peekaboo Street is a famous skier, right? Um, and she's amazing. But eh, yeah. if a parent came to me and said, can I name my child Peekaboo? I probably advised against it. Well, that's very polite. I would go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you would. All right. What else you got? <laughs> I got. How about. Um, Falco, F A L C O. Oh. He was okay. a friend of Sky Fox. Oh, really? But Falco, we never talk Rock about Falco. That, I don't know if he wrote it, Rock but he Amadeus. sang it. Amadeus. Amadeus. <laughs> yeah. He was, his real name was Johann Hans Holzel, better known by his stage name Falco, was an Austrian singer and songwriter. Hmm. How did you get that so fast? Did you check the Google? <laughs> <I take them. laughs> okay. Another character from Zelda is Ganon. G oh, I was O N. Just looking at Ganon. I like that name. Yeah, kind of like Gan for short. I kind of mm -hmm. like it. I think that's actually a name that could go up in charts if people paid attention to it. Ganon or Ganon. I don't know how to pronounce Gan it. I like Ganon. Ganon, yeah. So maybe put two N's in the middle. Mm hmm um then mortal Kombat. there's katana i like kitten cat names <laughs> that's k-i-t-a-n-a -A. i think that's pretty neat falco's last name is lombardi what do you oh, think about lombardi Italian. 
Lombardi, like Guy Lombardo. I guess that reference is really old, but Lombardi. <laughs> I don't think I'd use it as a first name. Hmm. Lombard. Lombard. That's a street in Chicago. That's right. Lombard Street. Now, you already mentioned Zelda. Do you think that people would name their children Zelda? Absolutely. Yeah. Zelly. It's on the charts. Zelly. I don't like Zelly. Zelly. Zell, maybe, but Zell is a, like a money transferring app. <laughs> oh, Zell. Zelly. I think Zelly is kind of cute. Not Zell. I'm not sure about that. Um, there is Cortana. We just talked about Kitana, but there's also Cortana from Halo. And Halo is kind of a cool name, although it's probably would be considered an expectation name. I don't like the name Halo. <laughs> hey, Halo. Hey, Halo. <laughs> it's like somebody named Guy. Here, hey, guy. hey, guy, guy. So here's um, Peach is one of the most popular Mario girl names. Oh, peach. If you can have an apple, you can have a peach. Can you, you have, can have a birdie, you can have a peach. <laughs> I don't like birdie. I, put, I am going to fine every parent who names their child birdie. $100, <laughs> you have to send it straight to babynames.com. <laughs> That'd be a great way to make money. Yeah, except for who would do it? <laughs> oh, well, I have to use the hundred dollars. Like fishing letters in the mail. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired of the fishing letters. Find you for five hundred dollars for naming your child Birdie. <laughs> oh, there's Candy. Nah, that's a stripper name. You can't call it a stripper name just because it's candy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend who is super friendly. Okay, just a very friendly guy, not like a jerk who, okay. you know, his name goes is candy. <laughs> no, but all his friends are like candy, mahogany, raven. <laughs> Okay. I like I like the name Raven. And I like I know, Candy. And Raven. Mahogany was a fine girl. You, you know, I mean Raven. they're all they're all sweet people. They're all sweet, nice people, but their names are all consistently, you know. <laughs> Strippery. <laughs> boisterous names. <laughs> boisterous. Um, speaking of which, what about Misty? Uh Play Misty for me. Misty. It, it was just such a 60s and 70s name that I associate it with that. But it is beautiful. It's a beautiful name taken out of context. You know, it's a nature name, Misty. Um, I just see a cheerleader type girl because I went to school with a bunch of Misties. And it was like Tiffany's, you know. It was the Tiffany of 1975. <laughs> Well, here's a name. Here's a name that's actually at towards the top of the list. Okay. And it's also the friendly Shih Tzu, who is the mayor in Animal Crossing. And that is Isabel. Oh, I love any Shih Tzu. That's cool, Isabel. Any um, Shih Tzu. Horizon Zero Dawn is a game and it has a character named Alloy, A-L-O-Y. Peach's best friend is Daisy. Oh, I like Daisy too. I like Daisy too. Daisy, Daisy too. <laughs> <laughs> I've always liked the name Daisy. Remember, uh, Daisy Fuentes is an actress. Oh, that's right. The only There's. Daisy I know. Ooh, I like this one. This is the Celestial Princess from Super Mario Galaxy, and that's Rosalina. That's pretty. I like that too. I think it's a good flower name that's an alternative to Rose, which I'm not a big fan of. You guys, let us know if you're here. We haven't seen any comments <laughs> come in. So if you're watching, comment, and we'll see them in real time. If you have any questions for us, let us know. We'll be here for another 15, 20 minutes just talking about stuff. Um, since we weren't allowed to do some Q&A on our show, because it was a long show, um, we're going to do a couple letters today and we'll give our opinions to these people but you can also give your opinions too 
But if you're tuning in, let us know you're here. We see that there are people watching. <laughs> so let us know where you're tuning in from. Um, do you want to take letters, Mal? Sure, but I need, uh, you better take them. And then I'll answer them. Right. Okay. Um, the first one, dear Jennifer and Mallory, I am currently in the process of changing my name. My first favorite name is Angelic. I have not found that name anywhere. I like it and it came out of my head when I thought about Angelica, but take off the A to make it Angelic for a boy. I really like the fact that I've never known or heard anyone having that name, so it would be unique, but I'm stuck on a middle name. Um, I'm changing all of it. Thank you, Shane. So, you know, my first inclination would be like if you're naming a baby that, that is an expectation name. But if you're naming yourself that, who cares, right? If you want to be portrayed as angelic, go ahead. Who cares? So long. <laughs> would it be pronounced like English, angelic, or like Spanish, angelic, or angelic? I think he was writing from the U.S., so it would be okay. Angelic. I mean, Angie? I've heard a boy's named Angie, Angelo. I, I think, yeah, Angelo. I think that you can name yourself whatever you want to when it comes to a middle name, um, <laughs> as long as it's not going to be offensive. You yeah, know, exactly. I think I think there really is nothing. Do I like the name Angelic? Not particularly, but since you're not putting an expectation on a little child, it doesn't right. really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, so Ellie said, hey, ladies, not related to video games, but have you considered a Jane Austen episode? <laughs> I know the majority of names are more American classical, but what about last names? Like people naming their kids Darcy. Yeah, I actually just ordered another one. Um, Pride and Prejudice is one of my favorites. So that's a great idea, Ellie. Thanks for that. Uh, we could we maybe consider that. Yeah, maybe we could turn it into a like names from classical literature. Yeah, maybe not yeah. just a whole Jane Austen episode. Right. And just include her too. All right. Are we done with Shane and Angelic? I think I think, I think so. I'm, but Angelic's fine. Do you think people would have a reaction to it? Maybe an eye roll. <laughs> maybe depends what his character is. But naturally, everyone just <laughs> blames the parents. So they wouldn't even know. <laughs> would, well, his friends would. Yes, that's true. And I assume this hasn't doesn't have anything to do with the transition because he said he would take off the A to make it angelic for a boy. Right. Um, so he just wants to change his name. Prince did. What? <laughs> Did not change his name. You mean to a symbol? Yes, Prince oh. changed his name to a symbol. If you can change your name to a symbol, you can change your name to a, a dictionary yeah, name. As long as it's not offensive, and I don't think it's offensive. I mean, right. I just, I don't know if it's ironic or not. It could be ironic because we don't, again, we don't know what his personality is like. Um, or he could be a perfect angel. So who knows? Maybe he's a choir boy. Maybe. <laughs> Are right. you a choir boy? Let us know. <laughs> Shane, the second one, uh, dear Jennifer Mallory, what are the correct ways to pronounce the name Julia and Juliana? I have researched on the internet and find conflicting answers. Is Julia the two syllable Julia or three syllable Julia? Likewise, is the Anna part pronounced Anna or Anna? Do you wow. personally recommend avoiding these names because a child would endure a lifetime of pronunciation confusion? And the second question is, which of the Julie family do you like best? Julia, Juliana, Julianne, Juliet? Sincerely, Lisa. Well, my opinion, first of all, as I understand it, when we do syllables, we look at the number of vowels. That is something that we need to pay attention to. So mm -hmm. when I teach English, we clap vowels. So Julia. So mm -hmm. I have always understood Julia, not Julia. 
Julio. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's a Big Brother reference. Julia. Uh, Julia. Um, Julia. So I see it as three, three. Syllables. I do too. I like uh, Juliet because I am someone who always loves the French spelling of a name, but I also like Juliana. I like Juliana too, and I like Juliet. I like those too. I think Julie has kind of aged out. That's more like sixties and seventies. Um, but Juliana, I say Anna. I think a lot of people say Anna. It depends what your preference is. I don't think there's, you know, we've talked about this over and over. There's no correct pronunciation of a name because it all depends on your culture. It depends on your geographical location. And it, you know, it depends what country you live in, what state, what city you live in even. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's, and what your parents want, you know, you can pronounce it any which way you want. I could be Jennifer if I want to be. <laughs> that totally reminds me of a. Uh, you were Mullery thanks, at one point. <laughs> oh, thanks to someone who called me Mullery. <laughs> I hated that Mullery. <laughs> anyway, um, that reminds me of something I saw on Facebook recently where the question was, you know, and what's some meme, how do you yeah. pronounce this word? And I pronounced it pecan, <laughs> but there were like seven different pecan. options. And I'm like, how can there be so many options for the pronunciation of pecan? Everybody <laughs> knows it's pecan, but everyone does not know. It's my Chicago way of pecan saying pie. pecan. I want some pecan pie. Sure Chicago is pecan. What is pecan. it? Pecan. I say pecan. Because it's con. Pecan. I, I bet mom said pecan. <laughs> mom would have said pecan. Yes. She would have. Just like she said. Um, Director. And um, scallops. Scallops. I don't know if she had this funny, weird affectation to her speech. <laughs> but we loved our mom. All right, so the answer, Lisa, is Julia, three syllables, but um, it, the Anna or Anna depends. It's whatever you want. So go for it. I think it's beautiful. What about um, Julietta? Julietta. I, like I think that. that's pretty. Yeah, very uh, unique, not used a lot, like Henrietta. Cool. Um, Last one. Dear ladies, my husband and I are having a girl and we like the name Tristana. T-R-I-S-T-A-N-A. -A. But I'm confused what the meaning of the name means. It says tumult. What does that mean? It's a Spanish name. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Velasquez. <laughs> now, tumult means kind of chaos, right? Yeah. It means you're going to have a terrible twos. <laughs> Not necessarily, but Tristan, the root of the word Tristan, or, which is what Tristana is based on, the name Tristan, um, really means sadness, kind of. Yes. Triste. Triste, triste is a yes. root for sadness. Sad. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind, too. I did look it up on babynames.com, and tumult is in there, and I'm going to do a little more research on that, why we had put tumult in the first place when it's sadness. Maybe I didn't want to make it too negative, but we usually do not change meanings of names. We try to research the most accurate meaning possible um, by using a combination of sources, trusted sources. Trusted okay. sources. So like that's experts it. in the field. Experts, yes. That's why we belong to the American Name Society. So we have access to all these experts and onomasts all over the world. It's a great society and they have a great conference, you know, usually in normal times. Any other questions from our watchers today? Or from you, Mal? Do you have any name questions? <laughs> um... What do you think of the name Marguerite? I like the name Marguerite. That was John's mother's name. But she was right. called Right. Yeah. I like the name Marguerite too. I think it's beautiful. Margie or Margie. I like Margie. Well, I knew a Margie. <laughs> Who was Marge. Marguerite? Margie. Oh, okay. 
Marguerite. And uh, let's talk about our next episode because it might be a little controversial. You wrote it. So it's going to be on Harry Potter names. Harry, Harry Potter. Okay. <laughs> you have to say Harry Potter. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your British accent there. Um, we know it's a little controversial to be celebrating the Harry Potter series, but we are going to separate the author from the work and concentrate on the work itself and talk about names from that series because it's been so popular. And we've actually had some requests to have a show all about Harry Potter names. Another fictional name show. <laughs> We're doing a lot of these. But do you, want, do you want to explain why it's controversial? I'm not sure everybody knows. Um, yeah. So JK Rowling on Twitter has um doesn't believe that there is gender fluidity. And she's, she has very conservative views about transgenderism. And um, so a lot of people who um, are supportive of LGBTQ, like babynames.com, and our family um, has really taken offense to a lot of her statements. Okay. So That's this is an example of how we don't always show that, hmm, how do I want to put this, that we are open to all ideas for and topics for shows, that right. it does not necessarily mean that because of what we stand for and what we stand behind means that we will then discard an option for a show. Right, for sure. Uh, Ellie has another comment. She says she's been thinking about the name Quinzel based on Harley Quinn. What do you like that? Hmm. Now, uh, what's his face? The filmmaker has a daughter, Harley Quinn. Oh, is that so? Yes, I forgot his name because I'm old and it just goes away from me. But uh, Quinzel, I think that's pretty. I like that name. Uh, Quinn is from the root five or fifth what do you think mullery moss don't call me mullery <laughs> thumbs fighting words okay. um i am not a big fan of quinzel no i'm sorry Allie. i you know i think harley's cute i think quinn is cute you know, and I'm just not a fan of Quinzel. But I like naming girls after tough ladies. And Harley Quinn is one tough lady. Yeah, that's for sure. I like that. And she's, it's from the comic books, right? Yeah. Is it from Batman? Is it DC Comics? Allie? <laughs> Allie, do we know? <laughs> Quick, Allie, your fingers, your fingers type. <laughs> okay. Um, if there are no other questions, thank you for tuning in. Yes. Make sure you subscribe to the show, the Baby Names Podcast, on all major podcast players. And also on Alexa, you can say, hey, Alexa, play the Baby Names Podcast. I hope I set that off for you. <laughs> you didn't set off mine. Allie said DC. Yay. Right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.